Right. We weren't doing anything important. Welcome back, to Twitch. I have a nasty headache. Gonna try to find, have a good game. Keep in mind the next big fight. You don't get to leave the metaverse, so have a speed. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm probably only gonna go for about an hour or more, honestly. Just, I'm hungry and I'm tired. <laughs> So uh, we're probably not gonna go super late tonight. All right, welcome back Twitch. Welcome back YouTube. Let's get back to just another game, Persona 5 Royal. Uh, our primary waifus are lovingly oblivious. Which is good for us. Hey, we can go rank up with EY. Wait, do I have actually free time? I guess I do. That's weird. Huh. All right, wait for Shido to be tried. Why am I doing that? Let's go hang out with EY. Why am I doing that? Stop at me. You can leave if you have EY or the dock max ranked. Okay. Go. Oh, we got the doctor max ranked. Soon we'll have EY max ranked. I hope. To be fair, that's not, like, the worst thing. Alright. WTF am I doing? What do you mean? What do you mean, what am I doing? Finally rotating with- oh. <laughs> um, being bad at- at- at UI. Alright, let's sing it with UI. Yo. You got an awfully serious look. I don't want to get dragged into trouble, so I'm not gonna ask. Be careful. Don't be butting off more than you can chew. What do you want today? Uh, I want to work. Actually, you know what? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Uh, go back home. Because lady made me nervous. So let's have Kawakami make us coffee, and then we'll come back. Hey. Yep. Make sure you close up. I don't know why I said you didn't see her from the front. I'm dumb. Alright, now she's making coffee. Now let's go back. It's good use of her money. Alright, what's up, dude? I'm back. <laughs> Yo. Wanna work? Remember what I said? I feel like my bond with EY will grow stronger soon. What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with them? No. I'm gonna do one thing. Also, I'm gonna tease Lady MC a bit more. Hey, inmate! Igor. Time for some rehabilitation. Finished for uh, now. Summon. Justine, you handle this. Read here. <laughs> yes, I fucked up, and that's why I'm here. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to deal with not getting max rank from Eli. So why don't we just go ahead and take a hangman persona with us? Uh, we'll take Hipper's amulet. This That'll persona, probably be good for something at this some persona? point. This is your power. There we go. Are you finished? What? Alright. There. Now no we're ready. Off. Third time's the charm. Really? Hmm. 
I didn't have UI Max and it still let me visit. Well, oh well. I don't, I, we have two visits to Maxim. Yo. And this is... I want to get the maximum points so we can go straight to 10. I want to work. I feel like I can become closer with EY thanks to the Hanged Man Persona Emperor's amulet. I feel like my bond would grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? Are you going to hang out with him? Hang out with him. <laughs> yes. It told me I would rank up to rank 9. I'm thinking about getting to rank 10. <laughs> I'm planning ahead for rank 10. Hey. So I shouldn't have to hang out with him again between rank 9 and rank 10. See, I'm thinking. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. But don't fail the questions. I'm not. I got the guide pulled up. <laughs> that thing's an antique. I'm not going to sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda. I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Uh, are you sure he's still alive? Yeah. Think so. Pretty big relief, assuming that's true. I mean, sure, that bastard pissed me off, but I never once wished he'd up and die on me. The whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello. Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda. Huh? Wait, what? The hell are you doing? Hey. You motherfucker. Hey, hold on. Damn it. That bastard Masa's abducted Kaoru. Uh, will Kaoru be okay? He damn well better be or else Masa's a dead man. God, that piece of shit. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. Uh, let's close up shop. Right. They're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Shit. Come on, let's go. Hey. Let Kaoru go. Take it easy, Mooney san. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru kun? Dad. I'm sorry, he said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... <clears throat> Kyaru. Man, ain't he just a great kid? Uh, cut the bullshit. And what are you, Muni-san's little errand boy? Man, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Hey! I said let Kyaru go. Fuck off. I heard you the first time. So what are you going to make me do? Great question. You know those modded guns you were going to give Suda? It'd be real nice to get my hands on them. There's the lieutenant spot open now that Suda's gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're going to help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa, but you got some real shitty timing. We just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You see, I know everything about Kaoru-kun's situation. <sighs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Kaoru-kun? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, Dad, I can handle the truth. No, you can't. You can't handle the truth! <sighs> that ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Kaoru. Hey, this family bullshit's real touching and all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner the better in my book. Shit. God damn it. 
Oh, don't give me that shit. None of this would have been happening if you didn't go and take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. Uh, you need to trust your son. Uh. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Yo. Kaoru, listen. There's something I've been keeping you from you for a while now, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents didn't die in a car crash. <clears throat> you were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the, the part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you really freaking told him, Mina son. He's not lying, Kaoru-kun. Welcome back, Raven. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell us to you just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yep, then when Muni-san wasn't buying, she just dumped you and ran. And that's how you ended up with a Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, oh, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day long. I couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boo freaking who? How sad. <laughs> Enough. All of that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me, or if my dad was part of the part of the yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the gecko. So you know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. I'm me, and Munihisa, Munihisa Iwai is my dad. <sighs> Atta boy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa. Let's put an end to this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously still don't get it, do you? Kaoru-kuns? No, Masa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You really fucked up this time. Oh? Suda? Suda! I mean, sir! Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. No, it wasn't me! Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving that knife around, huh? I'm sorry. Your kid's got guts, Mune. Like father, like son, huh? Yo. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought of much about what comes after. All I really know is, this is where we say goodbye, Muni. <clears throat> Take care, brother. Let's go. <sighs> Are you okay, Kaoru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're maturing quicker than I even realized. Uh, he's a cool kid, huh? <sighs> Damn right he is, though he ain't much of a kid anymore. You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me that I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. I, can, I can't believe I'm only realizing this now. <laughs> Appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. It feels like my bond with Eli is growing even deeper. I don't got no bond with Kaoru. Confidant the weapons dealer, the hanged man are kind of rank 9. All right. Your hanged man confidant has increased to rank 9. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Boost Burst when fusing personas of the hanged man Arcana. Is this how we add EOI to our harem? Do we get gun daddy? Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? Huh. You seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. 
The three of us enjoyed a peaceful dinner together. Yo, it's me. Sorry for that whole mess back there. I'm glad Kaoru's safe and all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was something. Connected by the gecko, huh? That kid must have grown into a man while I wasn't looking. Uh... Gecko bonds go beyond blood. <laughs> the hell are you even talking about? But I guess you might be right. A symbol of protection for the home and the family. And somehow the gecko really did end up protecting my family. Sounds too perfect to be real. After going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. But somehow it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, kid. You did some great work. You got me saying all this sappy shit. Downright embarrassing. I gotta go get some air. Cool down a little. Alright, later. And not a tear was shed for Masa that day. Hi! Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Alright, bye. Oh shit, I never went to go pick up the, the vegetables, did I? What is this? Do you think Representative Shido really had a change of heart? Well, there's been a lot of talk about him being exhausted, maybe even sick. Who knows, though? Besides, he would, he'd have been arrested already if any of it were true. Maybe he's waiting on an official statement from the government on who will be the next Prime Minister. I don't know, something about this seems off. Oh well. If there's no real issues with Representative Shido, I'd much rather just have him. Hey, think harder about this. Hang on a sec. There's nothing but issues. <laughs> Good morning. morning. It's exams. <laughs> it's exams. <laughs> We're the heroes who saved this country, right? Can't we be exempt from exams? And thus, he that's the, the real goal here. Wow, your plan didn't work. Can we try my plan now? My plan worked fine. It's just the puppet master was puppet. You don't know who to bomb next. And is it just me, or do we not have as big a sense of accomplishment as I thought? Uh... The public response sucked. That's it. People are so doubtful even after the press conference. He hasn't been arrested, so I guess that's expected. We just gotta leave it to Makoto's sister now. Man, I wish exams would magically disappear by the time we get to school. <clears throat> Don't pay attention to me. Oh, senpai. Oh. What's up, hottie? Uh, what a great day. Isn't it? <clears throat> it's been quite a while since we last met at school like this. Thank you for your efforts in changing Representative Shido's heart. Aw, she cares. I'm pooped. I can understand why. We should go somewhere to celebrate. Oh, what say we go pay our first respects to the shrine? A new year is about to begin and all. But I suppose we ought to deal with exams first. Yay! I get procured with both nukes and ICBMs. If some government agents from Europe or America come by asking questions, just ignore them. They're crazy. They'd have to find me. I'll be in touch afterwards. Please excuse me. All right, let's begin. Ooh, we can do this. Um, I'm alive actually, turns out crazy. Choose the graph which is named after the Chinese yo-yo known as a diabolo. Uh, should be D. Can I say question? 
This looks tough. Let's think it through. Explain why the infamous thief Nazumi Kozo had makeup applied to him before his execution. He was a really famous thief in the Edo period, right? How much money did he steal in the end? Uh, over one billion yen. That's right, but he was caught in the end. As a result, he was sentenced to... Having his head displayed. Yeah, he was paraded around town and then had his head displayed. Oops. Criminals... I guess I... Log. Uh, it sounds harsh, but it had certain significance back then, right? Criminals, especially famous criminals, were mostly paraded around for... Uh, performance. Oh, that sounds familiar. The people wouldn't have been happy if he looked shabby for his death. Things were brutal back then. Even condemned criminals had been prettied up for a crowd. So the real reason Nazumi Kozo had makeup was to appease the people. Yep. You finished in time! Time's up. Stop writing. Um, I don't think I left you in charge. I don't Did I leave you in charge? I don't think I remember leaving you in charge. Hello, senpai. I couldn't really say much out loud at school, but... I just want to let you know that I'm, again, that I'm glad you're safe. You remember the promise we made on the roof? Of course. Really? I was so happy this morning I invited you without really thinking. But it looks like we can make good on that promise by visiting the shrine. Thank you for coming back, okay? Ah, sorry to worry you. You don't have to apologize, I just wish I could have done more to help. As soon as exams are over, I'll be going to a local training camp. Honestly, I wasn't sure I should go. After all, you were going through so much. But now I don't have to worry. I can finally focus on my training. Sorry to bother you when we're busy with exams. Talk to you later. Yes. Nothing bad will ever happen. Not being there to stop him is the same as leaving him in charge. Well, shit. <laughs> Sounds like we really had Yoshizawa worried. I didn't leave the key under the doormat. That must have been Sojiro. I just wish we could get the general public to change their minds, too. Morning! Another day of tests. We finally defeated Shido, but we still have finals. Aren't these battles one after the other tough? Uh, they're tougher than Shido. How behind are you? Handle your exams like you do your chances of heart! Shida was way worse than this. Tomorrow's the final day of exams. Well, let's do our best, I guess. Oh, Takamaki senpai And you! Good morning! What a coincidence! Good morning! Morning! I just ran into him, too. How are the exams treating you, Yoshizawa-san? You seem awfully busy with practice lately. Yes. Oh, it's going wonderfully. Practice, that is. Not not as much as the exam part. I passed out while studying last night. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Let's see if we can do better than that today. Yes. I should see how much I can cram last minute on the commute. Now everyone. This is the second day of your exams. Please begin. What suit of cards represents the Holy Grail? The hearts. Ooh, Ooh, we, we can do, do this. this. According to Japanese judicial law, what is it what is possible for even an infant to do in court? Attend. Ooh, we Ooh, can, we do, can this. do this. What happened to Shido? Has anyone seen him since the press conference? Shucks. Had high hopes for him. It's, an it's unacceptable for Japan to be without a prime minister. I hope he steps back up to lead this country. Yeah, honestly, there's no one more qualified than Shido. Hey! Is everyone out of their minds? How can they still trust Shido? I don't know, but that dude just playing Vita. Playing Vita, living his best life. Today's the last day of exams. Are things going well for you? Ooh, we can do this! I'm doing the same as usual. Well, no problems. 
I'm all right with it, but my sister hasn't come home these past few days. I think she has a lot on her plate with building a case against Shido. He has connections to powerful people. I'm sure they want him cleared to save their own skins. Oh, uh, your sister has this. Yeah, I believe so too. Did you ask her about those tattoos, by the way? <laughs> and it's my sister. She'll see it through, I'm sure. With that said, now isn't the time for us to slack off either. <sighs> You're such a mom. Do you remember what the exams will cover? I'll check on the train for you. Let's get started. Like it or not, everything ends today. Now you may begin. Hey, we didn't learn this in class. What country refers to a person who controls politics behind the scenes as a prime minister in black? Uh, probably the Japan. Ooh, we, Ooh, can, we do can do this. this! We didn't learn this one either. The Japanese word dokyu translates to massive. What English word inspired the initial do in dokyu? Uh, dreadnought. Ooh, we can, we do, can this. do this! Oh yeah, this is one that you guessed on, isn't it? You're really on a roll. I want Coffee Daddy to survive, and also Gun Daddy. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy, I might start yawning. You did perfectly. I can't wait to see your score. Put your guards down till Shido's charged. Got it? And keep a low profile. Alright, what we got here? A public exhibition. Don't get rusty. Promise list, step three. Alright, who do we want to hang out with? Yusuke will rank up. Taba will rank up. I don't know why I bother looking at that anymore. And you won't rank up. Uh, Futaba. Yo. What is it? If you're free, it's promise list time. What should we do next? I feel like my bond with Futaba will grow stronger soon. Sing out with her. Time to formulate our plan of attack. Get in there! Go, go, go! Our protective hmm. shell that's hard as bedrock. I wonder why my computer's running hotter than usual. Maybe it's because it's fucking hot in here. So the next promise is... Learn about my generation. Wait, I think I can do the next one too. Have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Where can I find lots of young people? All right, let's go. Ain't no time like the present. Let's go. Uh -huh. Wow, you guys have actually started getting pretty close. Not like that's a bad thing, though. Anyway, be careful out there. Mm. So we've arrived at the diner. I've heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at these places. Well, where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Hi. Hey. Oh crap, and you're with a girl? Is this a friend of yours? He's in my class. Oh, that's right. How about I ask him to help me with my promise? Hmm? What promise? Well... You just want to have a regular old conversation? So wait, you're saying that you, a girl, want to talk to me? 
Yeah. I see. In that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I'll just have to help you out. Really? Oh, you're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura, and don't you forget it. Uh, okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishima. Mm-hmm. <laughs> seems like help always comes my way when I need it most. <laughs> Maybe my luck stat's really high. Uh, I think you're right. <laughs> Heck yeah, I could probably roll a natural 20 right now if you asked me to. Let me see. So you want to learn more about our generation? I doubt it'll be easy to explain. Youth, the unknown frontier. Maybe I should try talking about my hobbies. Um. Do you like computers? Yes. Hmm, I'm always online. Me too. What sites do you use? I usually keep the forums myself. Are you more into streaming? I'll gladly sub to your channel. Wait, do you by chance run one of those racing channels? You need to be super courageous to do that, though it certainly wouldn't be unwelcome, Keck. Oh god. Oh, that's the first time I've ever heard anyone actually say that out loud, Keck. And that's all you took from that conversation? I see! I've got it! This overwhelmingly forgettable appearance, generic speech style, and total lack of sex appeal. Nishima, are you an NPC? Ah, uh, savage. But it'd be even more savage to lie about what he is. Besides, NPCs are an important piece in the jigsaw puzzle of gaming. <sighs> You're not making this any better. And more importantly, my name isn't Nishima. All right. Anyway, I'm glad you spawned here. I killed two promises with one Nishima today. Learn about my generation and have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think I gained a ton of XP on this adventure. It's all because you brought me here. Thanks. I'm so sorry, Mishima. I can sense Futaba's innocent joy. Davik Sakura, the Hermit Confident Arcana, the Hermit Arcana Confident, rank five. All right. Um, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, your Hermit Confident has increased to rank five. You will now fuse more XP from Arcana Burst and fusing personas of the Hermit Arcana. People are seriously skilled at pissing off the spirit of Masakit. Oh. Everyone, every time some smokes try to mess them up, I was trying, they all died horribly. Earthquakes, falling death, they all have a bulldozer flip them. Um, so, um, Fatama Chan, it's okay if I call you that, right? I'm a little embarrassed. Anyway, what are you doing after this? Going home. Yes. Oh, right. All right, let's do Come it. Come on, we're off. Sorry, Mishima. Ahoy! I did awesome today, huh? I mean, I cleared two goals in one day. That's not all. On my way home, I found a lost thing in the street, so I dropped it off at the police station. It's a co I'm a completely different person now. No more scared of the police. Come on, tell me I'm cool. Uh, ding! Level up! <laughs> it's kind of fun being able to do all this new stuff. So I basically just left the thing on the doorstep. No way I'm actually talking to anyone in there. But I made a note and stuff, so still, mission, mission complete, basically. His <laughs> Tia's girlfriend. Compared to the police, Nishima was nothing. He's like the first gym leader. At my current level, I could easily befriend an NPC like Nishima and... Eh, never mind. Anyway, thanks again for today. Time to make like a tree. I'm so sorry, Mishima. So very sorry. Hey! Something should have happened by now. Congratulations on getting through exams, everyone. Congrats. It's finally over. I'm worried about the end result, though. You all did your best. I'm sure you'll be fine. You should have studied all your subjects, though, instead of trying to guess what's on the exam. There's no way I can do that. Ah, the cry of desperation. Exams aside, I heard back from my sister. There's been some progress. She'll be interrogating Shido soon. 
She also apologized for the way it promises she will manage to build the case against him. Yes! I can't wait to see what kind of news it makes. Why don't we take the opportunity and go out on the town tomorrow? Let's meet Shibuya at noon and forget about our exams. Like soaplands? Yeah, screw exams! I uh, got it. Well, I'm gonna make a tree and get out of here for now. See ya. Alright. Who we got? Good luck today. Got anything for me? Hey, we can maximize EY. Let's go do it. Maximum EY. What's up, dude? Yo. Wanna work? There's something I gotta ask you to do. You're free now, yeah? I feel I can become closer with EY thanks to the Hanged Man Persona Emperor's Amulet. And we'll maximum soon. Ah. Brothel's gotcha. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with EY? Hang out! Actually... Kaoru wants to talk to you. Hold on, I'll call him over. Thanks again, for last time. I learned a lot about myself. So... I just wanted to show my appreciation. <laughs> Intruding in on another private family moment. <clears throat> hey! <sighs> You're still droning on about that? I mean, it was quite a shock, but that's what made you take me in, right? So who cares? Whoa there, kiddo. If you had just told me all of this sooner, you wouldn't have been threatened. He's got you there. Who your parents are and where you come from stays with you for your entire life. Thanks to my loser parents, I got bullied by complete strangers and... My father isn't a loser, though. He's a brilliant business owner. <sighs> oh, they need a blushing EY sprite. Uh... It's up to... Uh, Kaoru won't lose. Yeah. There's nothing to worry about now. Uh, so in the end, I was just fighting my own demons. Stuck in my crappy childhood and all the problems I had growing up. My view of Kalru was all distorted because of my rotten childhood memories. I forgive you. Wow, you really matured, huh? <laughs> Why did you help my father out? He told me you gathered info about Sudasan for him. You willingly got involved in a Yakuza dispute. Would someone normally take that big of a risk? I couldn't leave him. Hmm. I'd understand if you were a member of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, hmm. Well. Huh. Fighting for the underdogs. Like a gentleman thief, you know? Oh, you're just guessing. Okay, People that's fine. Their own opinions, but. I think the Phantom Thieves are super cool. I mean, the sexual harassment incident involving that teacher? You gotta go, Kaoru. The supermarket's about to close. Okay, I was actually pronouncing his name fairly, fairly, fairly right. Aren't you in charge of dinner tonight? Ah, oh, crap! Uh, please excuse me! <laughs> Kids grow up quick. They can be a pain in the ass, but <laughs> they're worth it. All right, let's close up shop. Go pull down the shutter. Suda changed rather suddenly, huh? Seems like he had a change of heart. Just like them people they've been talking about on TV. I can't be the only one who was saved by his change of heart. Wonder who else knows. What if you're right? <laughs> I wonder. Well, don't worry. 
It ain't really none of my concern. Man, you really had me fooled. That whole thing about being an enthusiast was all just BS. No, I am an enthusiast. I hired you as a mere pawn, and now you're Kaoru's bro. The Phantom Thieves are using my guns to take down bad guys, aren't they? You would not believe how. They help people in need, huh? <laughs> Interesting. All right. I'm gonna put all my effort into that special menu we talked about. I don't like to owe nobody nothing, so I'll do my best for you. Because that's the kind of support I can provide. I feel a strong bond with EY. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the hanged man, granting thee infinite power. That's kind of depressing knowledge there, Raven, but thanks for explaining it. I mean, wow, that's heavy. All right, the way the weapons. Wow, the weapons dealer confident the hanged man arcana rank 10 max on the house allows you to customize your gun for free. All right, your hanged man confident has increased to max rank. You will now earn more XP from arcana burst and fusing personas of the hanged man arcana. Gun customization at EY's shop will now be on the house. All right. You can now fuse Addis, the most powerful persona of the Hanged Man Arcana. But what the hell are you gonna do with a model gun? You need a real gun in a shootout. I told you, you would not believe it. And the knives are just replicas. They're even less useful than a butter knife, you know? <laughs> You're such a weirdo. We were in the middle of closing shop, weren't we? Well, let's get to it. I feel like helping EY with this work is on my proficiency. Also, I should have made coffee before I came here. Oops. See ya. Something's not right. Phantom Aficionado website isn't busy at all. This doesn't make sense. Why? I mean... Masayoshi Shido got taken down. People should be posting comments left and right about this. The silence makes no sense at all. Is it because it hasn't made the news? It's so obvious the Phantom Thieves are responsible, though. I don't know, I got the day off. Alright, we're doing stuff. The news is talking about how Shido won by a landslide. There, they announced the poor health of their leader, Masayoshi Shido. As such, the special diet session was postponed, along with Shido's inauguration as Prime Minister. Postponed? They should be firing him! Mm hmm And wait, poor health? This is completely different from what my sister told us. I heard he barely slept during the election campaign. I don't blame him. He's not going to step down now, is he? Will this country be fine without Shido? How can people still believe in him? What the heck? Addis is of the Zella or Mad God race. Gods either hurt or punished by the laws of their respective pantheons. Originated in the king of Phrygia. Phrygia. Phrygia and eventually became part of Greek lore. Addis was conceived with his mother Nana, ate a fruit from a tree that grew on the site where Agdidus, Agdistus, Cybele's son from Zeus, had its male sexual organs castrated and buried. Huh. The phantom thieves are being treated like, well, like they never existed. Perfect. Roll credits. Goodness. No link among the change of heart incidents. Only coincidental psychiatric disorders. The Phantom Thieves only use those rumors to their advantage. This is preposterous. Who would believe such things? 
But the person saying this is a famous researcher. And even the Ministry is saying that's how they determined the situation, too. When's Shido gonna make a comeback? Honestly, I don't think anyone else but Shido can handle times like these. What's going on? No matter how you look at it, this isn't normal. Turns out he actually had charisma. Who'd have guessed? Yeah, it's as if the people in reality have become distorted. What's happening here worries me. But the only thing we can do right now is wait and see what happens. What do you mean I can't question him at this point? I mean, the Greek gods were pretty weird. Mr. Shido is in an extremely unstable state. I can't allow you to get in contact with him. Also, like, just because he had his male sexual organs castrated and buried doesn't mean he was a female, it just means that he was a eunuch. He may officially have to undergo a psychiatric evaluation at this rate. We are at the cusp of making a case. Do you know how much trouble we've gone through to get this far? You're gonna get pushed right out of window, Chan. I'm just doing my job as a doctor. Even if Shido was behind it, do you plan on convicting a central figure behind such a historical change? What? Don't be ridiculous. This is a country governed by law. Actually, you'd be surprised. You still want to protect him, even though you know what happened to the man previously at your post. So, you plan on taking the head of the nation to court. You need to take a break, Nijima. I'm taking you off this case, especially since it's rumored you have ties to the Phantom Thieves. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't want to and fled to the pine tree, recastrated himself and died, but the gods survived him. Hmm. Yeah, the gods were weird. What? So were the Roman gods. If I recall correctly, you still aren't married, are you? Wow! You'll be on leave for a long time. Why not look for a husband while you're at it? Holy shit. You're gonna get punted right out window, Chan. <laughs> Maybe wear that dress. <laughs> Show that tattoo. The assembly of Shido's case is in danger? We know he doesn't need a psychiatric evaluation! Uh-oh. Haru is angry fuzz. His lackeys must have pressured the others around him. It means there's far more people who'd be in trouble if the truth came out than we imagined. Isn't there anything we can do? Sis said the assembly of a case may be possible if the general public wants Shido held accountable. But they don't. But even that chance has been destroyed with the manipulation of the mass media. They made it clear that the argument itself was a cult, even claiming that it never happened. As a result, the Phantom Thieves are still labeled as criminals, even after all that's happened. Oh yeah, I was expecting him to like... He wasn't gonna walk out of that room. Actually, I think- I thought we were being labeled as non-existent. Same it's thing. A storm of criticisms online too. People are saying to catch the remnants and execute them. This is crazy. Execute. Execute door. At any rate, let's wait for my sister. She should be arriving here soon. Oh, she's gonna be in a mood. Everyone's being tricked so easily. Why the hell did we risk our lives then? If Shido isn't judged by the law, everything we've done will be treated as if it never happened. Moving the entire country however they wish by controlling people's cognition? This is no different than being inside a palace. Hey, how was your day? I'm sorry. I gathered the best of the best and fought for a case. But as Makoto must have told you, it was denied. At this rate, it won't end with just Shido's innocence. This trend will continue spiraling down. There's even the possibility that crimes using the metaverse will advance onto a national scale. Excellent. But that's not what I'm here to tell you. We're in danger because we know the truth. It's only a matter of time before we're apprehended. 
It wouldn't be odd if they were to charge in now. Oh, fuck. This makes no effing sense! What? It, were you followed? Sis! There's nothing more I can do with my resources. That's why... I want to ask for your help. I wondered if there was any way you could do something one last time. I know that I'm in no position to ask this of you. Show us your tattoos. That doesn't matter to us. So, what are we gonna do? Should we change the hearts of all Shido's followers? That's a lot of work. Even if Futaba were to research all of them, it'd take time. <sighs> There's too little information. We can only target individuals. Are we no match against the national power? Mementos. The fresh maker? If we use mementos, we might be able to do something. There's something we can do there? Like I told you before, mementos is the palace of the general public. It's the source of all distortions, and is maintained by the people's collective unconsciousness. Wait, do you mean that there's a treasure even in mementos? And if we go after that... The collapse of mementos should affect the public as a whole. The state of society would change, too. <laughs> uh, but is there gonna be at least cheese in the omelette? If everyone's hearts grow to hold Shido responsible for his actions, things might start going our way. This seems like a really bad plan. That's a bold plan, but an interesting one. Sounds good to me. But if we're gonna do this, there's one thing you all need to realize. To begin with, why does something like the human cognition exist as another substantial world? The reason for that is most likely sleeping within mementos. We'll be destroying that, you know. I don't see where you're going with this. The human cognition will lose substance, so you can't sneak into people's palaces anymore. Shit. So if other criminals appear, you won't be able to steal their treasure and change their hearts. It means the Phantom Thieves will be going out of business. Except for like the sequel and the dancing game. We'll have to discard this way of life. No. <sighs> I think we need to do this. I mean, we're the group who's reforming society, right? What do you think? As our leader, you lose your powers if Mementos is erased. Will you still do it? I like how both uh, Sojiro and Sai are looking at Morgana like they can understand him now. Uh, for our justice. Yeah, that's right. You guys have all grown, huh? All right. It seems there are no objections. Did you come up with a plan? Okay, maybe she didn't. Whether it succeeds or not is another story, though. The cat is very smart. I'll listen to cat. Miss Prosecutor, looks like this is going to be our last job. Last job? Uh, we're erasing the metaverse. Once we accomplish our duty, we entrust the world to respectful adults. That is our condition for accepting this job. This is a deal, then. That's certainly a heavy condition. But very well, I accept. On I behalf of adults. Masayo Shishido stand and be tried in the court of law. Besides, my pride won't allow me to be continually saved by you all without doing anything in return. We'll be counting on you. Looks like it's decided then. You're the leader, and this is officially our last mission. Come on, say something. Fuck mementos. I'm gonna miss this. Don't bring that up. It's on our minds anyways. Don't we... uh, I don't think we can. I think we Actually, missed our chance on that. Actually, something you should be saying after we've accomplished our goal. We don't have much time, right? We should carry this out tomorrow. 
I'm counting on you guys. No matter what happens, you better see it through. Turns out Morgana is the source of mementos. Well then. Tomorrow's the big battle. Better get some serious rest. Days until re-arrest. View. <laughs> All right. I think that's as good a stopping point as any for tonight. Uh, we'll try to pick up on this on Sunday. I don't see why we can't. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Let's go see who might be online to raid. Translation, tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's not few. I'll let you guys go into the void. Uh, I will see you Sunday. Y'all have a good night. Have a good weekend. Bye.